The action happens right now on Mari. The biggest family sex secrets we've ever heard are coming out right now. She suspects her husband is a secret male prostitute. He comes home with money and gifts I know we can't afford. Today, I'm here to prove my innocence. I've been devoted to you. I've been with you for many, many years. What will the lie detector uncover? Brandy decided to fulfill her husband Rick's sexual fantasy. He pressured me into having a threesome. So I thought I could trust my friend Ashley. Brandy believes Rick is still sleeping with Ashley. I'm furious. It's destroyed not only my friendship with her, but my relationship with my husband. Brandy, you deserve to hear the truth. This woman needs to know if her boyfriend is sleeping with her best friend. That's my best friend, Mari! That is my best friend! I know. He told our producers he wanted to reveal some secrets to you. I have to tell you. Confessions, family sex secrets uncovered. We have found out on this theme on our show that it's one thing to worry that the love of your life may be cheating. But how about if you suspected that he was having sex with your best friend? Oh! See, this is Alicia, and Alicia is terrified that her boyfriend, Paul, is having a secret affair with her best friend, Dominic. Oh! Now, now, Paul and Dominique are here, and they've been denying that they're anything more than friends doesn't buy it. She wants a lie detector test to uncover the truth. Why? It's bad enough to think that your boyfriend is cheating, but with your best friend, it's crazy. I don't know whether whoop her ass or his. When me and Paul first got together, Dominique couldn't stand Paul. But now she coming to my house, cooking them chicken tetrazzini. I pie talks about it's her cooking. What is it? Do he want her and the chicken tetrazzini? They swear they're not sleeping around, but he spends more time with her than he does with me. Not only have I found scratches on him, hickeys on him, and makeup on him, it didn't come from me. What bitch did he get it from? I think he's sleeping with other women too. I've heard rumors that Paul has another girl pregnant, and if he do, Paul can forget about me. If I find out that Dominique and Paul are sleeping together, Dominique, our friendship is over and Paul is out the door. You're furious. You're furious. My best friend sleeping with my boyfriend. How long y'all been going together? Me and Paul been together four long years. Me and Dominique been best friends for seven years. What about this co- Dominique cooked pile chicken tetrazzini. You think she has won him over with chicken tetrazzini? I don't know what she do with the chicken tetrazzini, but pile love it. Pile love it. Dominique can cook, but I know she's seducing my she... man with a chicken tetrazzini. <laughs> okay. What did your son say? He seen Dominique and Paul hugging and kissing. My son is four years old. He don't know nothing about that. He don't know nothing about that. It's just not Dominique, you think he's... It's other women. I heard through the grapevine that Paul has a, ba uh, that, that Paul has a chick pregnant. Pregnant? And I think it's like more than two women that he done got pregnant. What's he say about that? He denies it to the fullest. And by he the way, it. what does he say about Dominique when you talk they to him? They swear up and down that, they, that they're cool through a friend. All right, now, last night, Alicia, we tried to give... Paul, a lie detector test. Mm -hmm. But he, he kind of had a breakdown. What? And he, instead, he told our producers he wanted to reveal some secrets to you. <laughs> Here's Paul. Paul, come on out. Here's Paul. <laughs> Paul, last night... You told our producers that you wanted to reveal three things. Three Here's the first. First, I have to tell you that I cheated on you and slept with one of my ex-girlfriends, and it was over ten times. Here's the second secret. Also, I slept with one of your family members three times, and the last time was just a month ago. One more secret. Finally, 
I have to tell you that I slept with Dominique one time. You slept with my family member? You slept with my family member, Paul? Tell me why you came clean. Tell me why you didn't want to take that test. Because I just wanted to be a man, you know what I'm saying? Huh? And just come out clean with it. Well, what do you want to happen to all this? I just want us to be together. You uh, do? Wait a second. Dominique, one time? One time? With you all slept that, with Dominique? All that chicken tetrazzini was only one. This is what Dominique had to say, watch. Alicia, I came here today to come clean. I did sleep with Paul one time. I'm sorry, I wish I had told you. It was the biggest mistake, and I hope you can forgive me. All right, here's Dominique. Dominique, come on out. <laughs> Dominique, one time. One time. Yes. You want to say anything to her, Dominique? I'm sorry, Alicia. You be sorry, Dominique. That was my first, Dominique, and you slept with him. You know everything about me, and you sleep with my man. You met my best friend too damn long, Dominique. How can you sleep with him, Dominique? You wrong. Oh Dominique, you don't love him, do you? No, I don't care about Paul. It ain't Dominique. nothing. I don't care about Paul. It's about you and your feelings. I was ready to get it out and let you Dominique know. Dominique and Kayla, let you know. It has to take off and come out her. Why, Dominique? <laughs> all right, Jeff, what do you make of all this? Well, don't you give him any points for owning up? No. And Alicia, I'll tell you right now why this happened to you, okay? Number one, Dominique is very jealous of you and your life. Paul, Paul slept with Dominique and he slept with a family member or whomever because he's afraid of you. Look, he's, you don't even know what's going on, excuse man. Me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Because he's Alicia. afraid of you? Alicia. Number one. First of all, you're not in a position to say anything because you just got busted. You need to chill. He's afraid of you. And he's very, he's afraid of you and he's very angry with you. And because he's angry with you, he did something to hurt you in that way. And number three, he's immature. Very, very immature. Now. That being said, there are life lessons here. Now, it's going to take time. It's going to take time for you to get through this. You're going to have problems trusting a lot of people after this. But know that there are good people out there who love you. And one day you can open your heart again. I ain't got nothing to do with neither one of them. You hear me? You can send both of them back together. And when I get home, I'm going to whoop your ass. And you I'm tell whoop your ass. You tell them too. You tell them too. She's got a divorce attorney on speed dial. I believe Troy has cheated on me with disgusting strippers. I've dated strippers before, but that's way behind me. You were asked if you ever cheated on LaShonda with a stripper. The lie detector determined. <laughs> The most shocking sex secret ever. I didn't want to. 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 The biggest family sex secrets we've ever heard are coming out right now. This is LaShonda. Now, LaShonda has cried herself to sleep too many nights. But now, she's mad as hell. LaShonda is married to Troy. They have, they have two children together. 
And being a family, LaShonda feels that Troy should no longer be getting sexual propositions from co-workers texting or naked pictures of women who send it to him. LaShonda says that out that Troy has been unfaithful. She's got a divorce attorney on speed dial. Yeah. I'm here today because I'm being betrayed by my husband Troy in the worst possible way. We have two kids together and I'm positive that he's cheating on me. I found a naked picture of Troy with a naked woman on top of him. Troy tried to tell me that it wasn't him in a picture, but I know what my man private parts look like. I believe Troy has cheated on me with disgusting strippers. Some of his ex-girlfriends were strippers and the thought of it makes me sick. I have the divorce attorney on speed dial and if I find out he's lying to me, I'm leaving him for good. You've seen of naked women on his cell phone. Many, many naked women. Pictures of their private parts. any compromising pictures of Troy, have you? Oh, yeah. I seen, really? a, I seen a woman on top of him like, like she's They're both naked. I know that's him. I confronted him about it. He denied everything. He just walked away. Was no more denying today. Why do I have to come to this screen? Well, we gave Troy a lie detector test last night. We're going to get those but here's what he had to say about all these accusations. I am so in love with my wife, LaShonda, but she is convinced that I'm cheating on her. I would never do anything like that to LaShonda, and I'm here today to prove it. LaShonda found naked pictures of women in my phone. They're just porn pictures. They are not girls I'm cheating on her with. LaShonda has actually accused me of cheating on her with strippers. I've dated strippers before, but that's way behind me. I love my wife. She's the prettiest woman on the planet. LaShonda, you are my soulmate. When you find out today that I haven't been cheating on you, you're going to have to ease up so we can move on and grow and be happy together. Soulmate. Whatever, don't kiss up now. Here's Troy. Don't kiss up now. LaShawn. Okay, wait a second. Don't, don't write this man off so fast. You got a busy cell phone. You really got a busy cell phone, don't you? Yes, sir. No, you are married. You don't need. How about those naked females? pictures? Naked, naked pictures? No, I'm, I'm, a more I'm a man. I'm a man. Every man has naked pictures. No, you can't. You like pretty women. I'm not mad that you were really in cheat. So why you got all the clothes in your phone? You she don't said, need Troy, it. Wait a second. Sit down, LaShonda. She says that one of the one of those naked was you. It was not me. I know what your body looks like. It was you. Marley. It was you. Marley, first you of all, show your first of all, all men's body parts look no, the same. No, I, I saw your body parts. No, no. Well, guess what? We have the answers yeah. right here. Yeah. It you were asked if you're still in you the lie detector determined. You're telling the truth. You better be in love with me. All the hell you put me through. All the hell you put me through. You better gonna, be in love with me. It's going to end today, though. Whatever. It's it's gonna gonna end if you're, if you were asked if you're bored with your sex life with LaShonda. You he said no. Is. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Yeah, I know. Baby, you got all these hoes. You got all these porno hoes doing all type of tricks for you. Baby. I ain't no porno ho. Baby. I ain't about to be flipping up in there and doing all type of tricks for you. I love you. You lied to single women about being to be able to cheat with them. You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. I knew it. I knew it. Whatever. You're, if you were the man, if you were the man in the picture with the naked girl on top of him, you said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. You were asked if
picture. You cheated on Lashonda with a girl in the picture wearing underwear that you d that didn't know that you were married. You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, my goodness. I got all these hoes' numbers. You were asked if you ever cheated on Lashonda with a stripper. Oh, the lie detector determined you have, in fact, cheated on Lashonda with a stripper more than twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. on LaShonda, you said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. You've cheated on her more than 50 times. With oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You know what? Oh, you know what? Dr. Jeff. LaShonda's right. You do act just like a child. That being said, that being said, you are a ladies' man, but please, be your ladies' man. Yeah! So, LaShonda, we wanted to get it all out so that you can know everything. So we went a step further. Last mm -hmm. night, our very own special ops investigator, Dave Vitale, oh. you backstage and show you what we caught on Hidden Video when Troy was put in a green room with a buddy decoy and what they talked about. We'll be back. Busted on Hidden Camera. Wait until LaShonda sees the tape. Get out my face! Hey, that's Woo! Brandy decided to fulfill her husband Rick's sexual fantasy. He pressured me into having a threesome. So I thought I could trust my friend Ashley. Brandy believes Rick is still sleeping with Ashley. I'm furious. It's destroyed not only my friendship with her, but my relationship with my husband. Brandy, you deserve to hear the truth. Biggest family sex secrets we've ever heard are coming out right now. This is Brandy. Now, one night, Brandy decided to fulfill her husband Rick's sexual fantasy. And she invited another woman into their bedroom. For a threesome. Now that woman's name, that woman's name is Ashley, but instead of enhancing their sex life, it put their marriage on the verge of divorce. Because after that fateful night, Brandy believes Rick is still sleeping with Ashley. And not only that, Brandy believes the threesome has caused Rick to go out and cheat with other women as well. This is her story. I'm here today because I believe my husband is not only cheating on me with my neighbors, but even my own friend, Ashley. Shortly after me and Rick got married, he pressured me into having a threesome. So I thought I could trust my friend Ashley, so I broke down and gave him his threesome. This has come back to haunt me because I feel like they're still sleeping together behind my back. And one day after that, I even found his boxers and slippers next to the bed that she was sleeping in. I even heard rumors that he was sleeping with his ex-girlfriends and my neighbors. And if I find out that Ashley was sleeping with my husband behind my back, it is over. If my husband Rick cheated on me with anyone, he can pack his bags and hit the road. You look mad. I'm, I'm furious. You're furious? I, I am. It's destroyed not only my friendship with her, but my relationship with my husband. You allowed it to happen? I was trying to satisfy him. I wanted, I wanted to make my husband happy, you know? So but, why do you think that they've been together after, after this one time? Okay, a week after the threesome, right. I went through our room, the room that she was sleeping in, and I found Rick's slippers and boxers beside the bed. So when did you think that Rick was up to no good? Uh, we were staying with a couple girlfriends of ours. He told me about a chick that we were mutual friends with, right. and he ended up sleeping in the same bed with her that night. So it's just not Ash. All these other women too. I do. All right, before we meet Rick, this is what he had to say. Watch this. I because I love my wife more than anything in the world. And there's no way in hell that I would cheat on my wife with anyone, let alone her friend Ashley. I admit that me, Ashley, and my wife had a threesome, but my wife needs to know that it ended there. 
Brandy thinks that she found slippers and my underwear beside the bed, which Ashley slept in. But it pisses me off because she knows that both of our clothes are all over the house. I'm sick and tired of Brandy accusing me of cheating on her every day. Brandy, I love you, but this is ruining our relationship and our marriage. And if it doesn't stop, I'm done now. Here's Rick. Rick, come on out. Did, she, did you convince her for this threesome, or did, did she convince you? What happened? More, really, how it happened was my wife said, you know, she thought that she, that's what I wanted, and I thought it was something that she wanted. So it was kind of a mutual thing there. I never really pressured her. You know, her. that was the beginning of the bad things that are, she's thinking about. Yeah, yes, it was, Maury. And a lot, a lot of the problem came from that we made that one bad choice, but... I mean, it's you not going to come. You haven't been with Ashley again, have you? No, I haven't, more yet. But of course, I've... there's another piece to this puzzle, and that's Ashley. And this is what she had to say. Brandy, I know you want the truth. You deserve to hear the truth, and I'm going to tell you it today. I am not sleeping with your husband. I would never do that to you, and I'm here to prove that today. Here's Ashley. Ashley, come on out. Um, not anymore. How about the boxers and the slippers next to the bed? I don't know anything about that that I was in. Lindsay, where are the money came in? Well, guess what? Might as well find out what went on. I asked when Brandy found your slippers and your boxers next to the bed that Ashley was sleeping in if they were from cheating on Brandy. Uh, from there, because you were cheating on Brandy with Ashley. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Yes, Thank you. You were asked during your relationship with Brandy, besides the night of the threesome, if you had sex with Ashley. You said no. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. Yes, Thank you. Yes, you want to apologize to Ashley? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I will give her that. I'm sorry. Right, here's out Rick's drama, also other results when it comes to cheating. You were asked if you ever cheated on Brandy with one of your neighbors. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Thank you. Let's keep going. You were asked if you cheated on Brandy the night her friend's sister heard moans coming from the bedroom you were sleeping in with a friend. You said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie. Brandy with your ex-girlfriend. You said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie. Does that count when me and we were first together? I was actually trying to get back when we weren't being serious about a relationship. Does that count? We never Rick, Rick. Obviously, there are reasons you did whatever you did. So, even though Brandy's breaking down right now, once she starts recovering, you've got to talk to her, explain what happened, but what will happen from this point forward. That's the most important thing for you to grow this relationship and make it strong again. We'll be back right after this. Thank you. Do you respect him more right now if he just told the truth? Yeah. As for that, yes, we were we were next to each other in the bed, and yes, we were coming, but I never had sexual intercourse with her. Did you kiss her? On the cheek, yes. <laughs> Admit it. You said you were in bed with her. Yes. You said that you we were in with her. Yes. So let's just, you know what? Yes, but we never You're had right sexual there. intercourse. All right, just forget about sexual intercourse. Did you kiss her on the lips? Did you make out with her? Yes or no? Uh, yes, I kissed her. OK. Did you uh, no, go to second base? Groping? Is that what you're saying? Yes. No. You L didn't well, touch any part of her body. I touched her breast, but like I had my arm underneath you're her breast. You're making excuses, yes or no? 
Yes, I touched her breast. When you're making but, out and you're touching breast, that's but called I, cheating. But I wasn't sexually touching her breast, though. Okay, okay if you're I, making yes, out and you're cheating, okay. that's... Okay, yes, okay, then I admit, yes, that's cheating. Okay. okay. In that case, yes. So, but so you it's know, okay I for me to go out and do that? Whatever. I, I can I can go and do that? Whatever, that's gonna But you know what? I'm not going to because I'm not a cheater. I would never do that to you. She suspects her husband is a secret male prostitute. He comes home with money and gifts I know we can't afford. Today, I'm here to prove my innocence. I've been devoted to you. I've been with you for many, many years. What will the lie detector uncover? I didn't want to. 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 Biggest family sex secrets we've ever heard are coming out right now. Now you can tell our first guest is very sad. This is Lyric. And Lyric knew her husband of 12 years, Paco, spent a lot of time on the computer. But then, you know, after she did a little detective work, she uncovered the fact that he has sexy online relationships with over 1,500 women. Whoa! Now, one of those women even believes that Paco is going to leave Lyric for her. Now, not only does Lyric believe Paco's sleeping with all of these women, she suspects that he might even be a secret <laughs> male prostitute. I've been with my husband Paco for 12 years, and I thought he really loved me. <laughs> and I don't think he does anymore. I believe he's been cheating on me with at least about 15 to 20 women. I just stumbled across his so-called internet page, dating page, and he had over 1,515 women on that page. He even told one of them he loved them. How is he going to explain that? I believe my husband is prostituting for money because he comes home with money and gifts I know we can't afford. I think he's sleeping with one of my closest family members. I want to know why. I deserve to know. It's a man I loved all these years. Have you been here for me all those years? A family member? A family member. Oh! Home. Oh! Home, Murray. That's smell not like true. sex. That's not true. Sex. Come on, man. And not just, and know, not just, not, not just one home, the whole house. I, so you bless my house? I have more about my Then he worked at a fast food restaurant last year. Mm -hmm. He called the lady a bitch. This is the GM manager now, right? And it was rumors was going around that he was in the bathroom. Well, this is your husband Paco, and this is what he had to say. Boo, you know I love you. We've been together for 10 whole years. I'm not cheating on you with my space, work, or school. I got big plans for us. Me and you against the world but I'm not gonna stay with a woman who keeps claiming that I'm cheating. I don't know where you get these accusations or what's going on in your head. 1500 off of MySpace, they were just that, friends. Today, I'm here to prove my innocence, that I love you. Here's your husband, Paco. Paco, come on. That you will sit here and think that I would go outside our marriage like that. I've been devoted to you. I've been with you for many, many years. Oh. And we're out there. I'm not like everybody. I'm not like everybody. Paco. 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 The family. Never happened. Never happened. Never. There's such thing as morals. I have one. Right. Your own family I member? Got, I, got I don't it. know who you portray me to be, okay. but I'm not going to allow you to be that, that one. Paco, the f fast food restaurant. Never happened. And what about this male prostitute stuff? That's real How you buy my new mic? How you buy my new mic? Hard, hard work. Nah. That's how. Nah. That's how. Yeah, yeah, hard, hard, and hard and work. Here we go. Now, we broke this up into three sections. First, emotional issues. We asked you if you are happy to be married to Lyric. Paco, you said yes, and the lie detector determined 
That's the truth. We asked you if you wanted to be with Lyric the rest of your life. You said yes. The lie detector determined that's the truth. We asked if you have ever cheated on Lyric with any of the women on MySpace. You admitted you did. You need to give me three feet. You need to give me three feet. Arms sweet. Sit down, Lyric. Come on. We asked you, Paco, if you ever had sex with another woman for money. You said no. The lie detector determined that's the truth. We asked you if you ever sent sexual pictures to women on the Internet. You said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie. We asked you if you ever cheated on Lyric with any of her family members. I never, come on, You man. said no. The lie detector determined that was the truth. <laughs> we asked you if you ever cheated on Lyric with any of the women you worked with at the fast food restaurant. You said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie. <laughs> the what? I didn't hear that. What? I didn't hear that. I'm what, done. What? No, wait no, a minute. I'm Lyric, done. No, you can't be come done. On, you can't on. be done. I'm done. Come on. I'm Lyric, done. you got to sit down. You got to sit I'm down. Done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm sit done. Down, I'm so done. How many times you've cheated on Lyric? The lie detector determined it was more than 25 times over huh? five weeks. That's a lie. It's done, baby boy. I think you want to change. I really do think you want to. I didn't want to. I really do. I really do. Huh? You got you got a lot of time invested in this. I'm good. I, I'm not an insecure female. Insecure female will stay with that. No. No. Look at me, Murray. You're beautiful. Exactly. Why would I go for that? Come here. You can come this way, Larry. You cheated on me recently? You lucky I'm kicking your head. I'm gonna. I want both of you to be with my counselor. Okay? She was burned over 90% of her body in a house fire. Because of that devastating fire, she has a hard time believing that Tim truly loves her. Tim asked me to marry him, and I really can't because I don't know if he's cheating. Once this test comes back, I'm going to ask her to marry me. You are? Will she get married after the truth comes out? The lie detector determined. The biggest family sex secrets we've ever heard are coming out right now. Everyone, this is Lori. When Lori was 12, she was burned over 90% of her body in a house fire explosion. She's had 56 surgeries, and she's still left with disfiguring scars. Lori says when she looks in the mirror, she can't believe that her boyfriend, Tim, could really love her. What's worse is, she believes Tim may be fantasizing and cheating with other women who don't have scars like hers. This is Lori's painful story. At 22, Lori has endured some of the worst things that could ever happen to a woman. When she was just 12 years old, Lori's life changed forever when she was caught in a terrible house fire. I remember that day like it was yesterday. The fire had actually started behind the dryer. My immediate reaction was to grab the hose and put the fire out. Next thing I know, the dryer exploded and I went flying against the fridge. And I was engulfed in flames. Lori was burned over 90% of her body and has had over 56 painful surgeries in an attempt to repair these burns. Because of that devastating fire, Lori lost her fingers, toes, and most of her sight. Since that day, her life has never been the same. I used to be so perfect. Everyone used to say, oh, you have such a pretty face, and now it's like everything's gone. I hate myself. When I look in the mirror, all I see is disgust. Every man in my life that I ever gave my heart to always lied, betrayed me, and treated me like total trash. Now, Lori hopes that she's finally found her soulmate in a man named Tim. 
But because of the terrible things she has suffered in the past, she has a hard time believing that Tim truly loves her and is convinced he may be cheating on her. Tim asked me to marry him, and I really can't because I don't know if he's cheating. I really need to know whether he's cheating on me or not. Well, give me some specifics here. Well, give me a specific reason why you think Tim is cheating. Well, I found it looked like a hickey on his collarbone, and I didn't give it to him, but he says it's from work. But I can understand about yeah. the self-esteem that you have. Yeah. But here's the thing, Lori. You have a beautiful face. <laughs> See, yeah. you do have a beautiful face. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Tim's backstage. This is what he had to say. Watch. My life is a living hell because Lori thinks I'm cheating on her. I feel like a terrible person for something I never did. Lori's been through so much in her life I would never ever want to hurt her. To me, Lori is a beautiful person and not scarred. I don't want any other girl. You're the one that touches my heart and I want to marry. Sounds pretty nice to me. Here he is, Tim. Tim, come on out. Hey. Nice to see you. Welcome. Good to see you. Tim, can you understand where she's coming from? Yep. And where she's coming from, you know, and I, I just wanted to know. That's why I took this test so I can prove to her that I'm not lying about anything. I do want to marry her. And that once this test comes back to show I'm not lying, I'm going to ask her to marry me. You are? I have the results of the test. Here we go. We asked you if you've ever cheated on Laurie at work when you're fixing TVs. You said no. The lie detector determined. Will she get married after the truth comes out? The lie detector determined. Busted on hidden camera. Wait until LaShonda sees the tape. Get out my face! Hey, Woo! The biggest family sex secrets we've ever heard are coming out right now. At 22. Lori has endured some of the worst things that could ever happen to a woman. When she was just 12 years old, Lori's life changed forever when she was caught in a terrible house fire. Lori was burned over 90% of her body and has had over 56 painful surgeries in an attempt to repair these burns. When I look in the mirror, all I see is disgust. Now, Lori hopes that she's finally found her soulmate in a man named Tim. But because of the terrible things she has suffered in the past, she has a hard time believing that Tim truly loves her and is convinced he may be cheating on her. Can you understand where she's coming from? Yep. Once this test comes back to show I'm not lying, I'm going to ask her to marry me. We asked you if you are attracted to Laura. You said yes. The lie detector determined that's the truth. <laughs> we asked you if you are sexually turned off by Lori's scars. You said no. The lie detector determined that's the truth. <laughs> we asked you if you've ever cheated on Laurie at work when you're fixing TVs. You said no. The lie detector determined that's the truth. <laughs> we asked you have you ever cheated on Laurie. You said no. The lie detector determined that's the truth. <laughs> Right back. Uh, busted on hidden camera. Wait until LaShonda sees the tape. Get out my face! Hey, that's Woo! You are the power. Get off my stage! <laughs> Biggest family sex secrets we've ever heard are coming out right now. Earlier, LaShonda found out through a lie detector test that her husband Troy had cheated on her with over 50 women. Backstage, Dave Vitale showed her video of what his special ops team captured Troy saying to a buddy decoy on hidden camera. There's gonna be pictures at two o'clock in the morning. 
Texting me at you understand? Like why? If you know the position, you know what we're doing, why you send me a picture that you're about to You didn't talk to my old lady. You, you better God play all that. I gave you plenty of opportunities to confess to me. And you also dare you prep these women to tell me what to say to me when I call? You tell me, no, you ain't sorry. It's over. Get out of my face. You get some help. I'm faithful to you. I'm faithful to you. Get out of my face. Move! Move before I move you. You think it's a joke? I ain't had sex with nobody but you. This whole marriage is a joke to you? All the women, they can have you. They can have you. It looks like this marriage is over for good. We'll be sure to update you on this couple, so keep watching. Until next time, America.